My name is Wayne Kyle, and I'm currently living out of Balgonie, Saskatchewan. My hometown, where I was born and grew up, was uh, around Earl Grey, Saskatchewan, which is north of uh, Regina. Mm -hmm. And um, my favorite memories are how friendly and, and uh, supportive the people in the community were. The uh, skating rink was a dome-shaped rink that was built in back in '67 when the government was looking for uh, locations to store grain. They financially put the building up as long as they could store grain in it for a while. And then after that, the community could take it over and use it. The old town hall was a small little place with a tiny little basement, and as the community grew bigger, they needed to look for an additional location for a town hall. And then the multiplex was started with uh, grassroots core people, mainly a good number of people from the Belgone Elks Lodge at that time. Many, 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 many hours of volunteer work went into there. Belgone used to have a, one of the, you know, very, very big winter festivals. So you'd start Wednesday and you'd curl Thursday, then Friday, right through 24 hours a day until you'd finish it Sunday. And so the Winter Festival was a big event in that community. Like it had everything. It had the pancake breakfast, it had the snowmobile races, it had the figure skating, it had the hockey. It's 28 to 29th years, the dinner theater in Balcony. And that's become a very, very popular event in both. Generally, they try to keep it so that it can be a family event where people can come out. A lot of people celebrate their Christmas parties out there early. They buy a whole table and, and go out. And they've been, over the course of the four nights, about 300 a night. So that's, and it's usually been sold out. We have a very functional Elks Lodge out there. We're one of the most active in the province. Last year, we won the service award for the province of Saskatchewan, the first ever. Like some of the older buildings in the town of Belgoni, the the one that the store is in was a, a historic site where the first man ever flew an airplane off the roof. And I mean that back in the 80s, I think, when Belgoni had their 100th anniversary. And so really, as far as historical areas, the, the store is the big one. We have two major schools in there. Like the high school has, I'm not sure the numbers, but it's like 700 kids in it. The elementary school has 400 kids in it. So that's one of the attractive areas. That's one of the reasons the town of Belgoni has so many people living there. Our swimming pool is one of the oldest ones in the province. I can walk to church, I can walk to the corner rink, I can walk to, oh, we live right behind the arena so my grandkids play, I get out the back door across the back alley and I'm in the rink watching it play, I can walk to the pool, I can walk to the store. It's it home for me, my children are there. You're connected to something that you're feeling really proud of. That I'm really proud of is the amount of involvement that we've had in the community to develop and build the kinds of things that are there. Like I've been in and out for 30 years. You know, I was an integral part of the Alex, integral part of the Winter Festival, integral part of the swimming pool when we renovated the pool and developing our candidate program in, in Belgoni. We've had it going for four years and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you provide those opportunities for people to stay around in their own home center. And, and I think one of the most rewarding messages that I heard, there's only three years ago when we started the candidate in Belgoni, we said the purpose of the day was to provide an opportunity for families to stay together instead of go to the lake or maybe you want to bring invite your family to come to Belgoni and share the day with you because we had a nice pancake breakfast, we had a dog show came in, and you do that, we had some street things, the pool was open, it was free. Ice cream lady in town, she's provided free ice cream. We had a little scavenger hunt that the kids could go with the parents and the grandparents and travel around the town. And then the afternoon was over. Well, the last couple of years we've had a beer garden, so that was closed at 4.30. Last year, our neighbor down the street, so I walked back to the rink or the area where the uh, activities are going on. He says, he jumps up and says, you know, I've got to thank you very much because this is one of the first July 1st that my parents and my brothers and sisters have been with us together. So it gave them an opportunity. And now, this year at Belgoni, it was like homecoming because all so many of the people that I taught were there, their kids were there. And that was now, it's now a purpose and a meaningful place to go on July 1st. Are you having it next year again? Yeah, we're having it next year again. We'll be here. We have praise. We must have had 800 people sitting around the streets of Belgoni watching the praise. Um, so those are the kinds of things that really make you feel good about the community and being part of that. It's more, to me, it's more valuable to help organize and, and work and make it happen than sit on the side of the chair and wait for the thing to happen to go by me.